Staff at the Shields Iceplex started noticing issues with all three of their rings last Wednesday. Typically we run at about 18, 19 degrees. Well, they were starting to climb up into the 20s. When they called for a repair, they realized there was a major problem. It was uh, it's an issue inside of our chiller unit that's deep inside this vessel that we don't know what the exact issue is yet other than the, the ammonia and the brine are contaminated and that can't happen to run an efficient system. The chiller is a critical piece of their operation. Without the chiller, or really without any of that mechanical room back there, but the chiller being the most important part, uh, you, you can't make ice. And that's kind of important uh, when you're operating an ice rink. The issues with the ice have left figure skaters, curlers, and hockey organizations like the Sioux Falls Flyers and the Sioux Falls Stampede looking for a new place to skate. So, but Augie's been great um, as they've opened the doors since last January. They've started to take on some customers, sell some hourly ice to other customers. Well, when news you know, came out about our issue here, uh, I know their phone was ringing off the hook. In the meantime, staff at the Iceplex are hard at work. We actually had someone come in with a, with a truck and a blade, and uh, he kind of scraped you know, along the uh, concrete and then push out as much ice as we could, what was left of the ice, and now it's just all liquid. It has been a little hard work, but we we turn up the music, we all know each other pretty well, and so it's it's the best pe work of people that I could could do this with, honestly. In Sioux Falls, Jordan Dismith, Kettle News.